Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Upon seeing the Vishnu Dutas, Ajamil gave up his material body at Harvard on the bank of the Ganges. He regained his original spiritual body, which was a body appropriate for an associate of the Lord. Purport, the Lord says in Bhagavad Gita 4.9, Janma karma cha me devyam evam yo veti tattvata tyaktva deham puna janma naiti ma meti surjuna. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjun. The result of perfection in Krishna consciousness is that after giving up one's material body, one is immediately transferred to a spiritual world in one's original spiritual body to become an associate of the Supreme Personality of God. Some devotees go to Vaikuntha Lok and others go to Golok Vrindavan to become associates of Krishna. Om Agyanati Mirandasya Gananjana Shilaka Shakshuram Militam Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha Vanchakalpa Turumbhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vivacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Vakalevaram Tirte Gangayam Darshanadanu Sadhya Swarupam Jagrihe Bhagavat Parshvabhartinam Upon seeing the Vishnu Dutas, Ajaman gave up his material body at Harbor on the bank of the Ganges. He regained his original spiritual body, which was a body appropriate for an associate of the Lord. Such a nice result of a spiritual practice. Svarupa. 
regaining the original body, that's our goal. There is a, uh, there is a, a definition of this in, uh, in Bhagavatam. Svarupena via vastitihi. To be situated in one's original position in a Svarup, it means hitva anyataha rupam. It, 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 um, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, the, the context of giving up one's own body, one's, one's false other bodies. Hitva an yataha rupam, svarupiyane viyavyastiti. To assume our spiritual body, it uh, includes that we have to give up to all the other bodies. So, uh, uh, Prabhupada is explaining that uh, um, our spiritual practice. It needs to give up the gross body, the stula sharira, and then the sub body called the linga sharira. Um, we are actually giving up the gross body quite often. We have already heard from uh, material science that uh, all the cells in the body are changed. Uh, after, after some years all the cells in the body has, has been swapped around with new cells. So the gross body is already changing. In this life, also as Krishna has, has given us notice of in, in the Bhagavad Gita. Dihina asmin yata dehe The body living being, the person who is inside the body, uh, just as he, he is changing body in this life. Kaumaram, from a uh, young, young body. A youth, uh, I mean, uh, the body of a boy, a coma, young man, uh, or an old person, or or jar, no, jara is young man is 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 a grown up person and jara, old. So these are three different kinds of bodies. Um, actually, uh, it said that Krishna, his body, it's it's just going through uh, the stage of being. Uh, a boy, a bala, and then he's, he's young, and then he's no more changed. So, so Krishna, he, he, he doesn't get old like this. But we are going through these three changes of body. The fourth change is, is death. Komaram yamanam jara tata deya antara. So, so antara, uh, to have another body, another deha, uh, to change the body, prapti, to, to, to get that, that is going on for long. For us, we are already swapping the body in this life, and next life we will have a new body. So, so this change of body is going on. So, so hitva anyata rupam svarupena via vastiti. So, so to, to be situated in our original svarup, we have to get free from these changes of the gross body. And Prabhupada is explaining that uh, for, for changing the gross body, uh, that is just going on automatically. We're always changing the gross body. After this life, then we will get an, another gross body. Uh, but to change the sudden body, that is not so easy. The sudden body is very difficult to change. That's why we find we have a, we have a hard time practicing uh, Krishna consciousness, because it involves changing the sudden body. That, that's hard work. To, to change the gross body is very easy. It's no hard work. It's going on by itself. But to change the soul body, that, that really takes an hour. That is our task. And that means hitva an yataha rupam. We have to give up having all, all these uh, forms in our, our mind which, uh, which, which are, are making us having gross bodies. So it's, we, we shouldn't be attracted to, to anything going on with this gross lump of flesh. That means we have to forsake uh, enjoying through this body. There is no other way. You may think of it in so many different ways that in, in, the, in the name of Bhakti we may enjoy it of our senses. But actually uh, the, the summum bonum of the whole thing is we have to be ready to forsake all the enjoyment through, through these, these uh, organs here the air and the eyes and the tongue and, and the sense of touch. We have to be willing to sacrifice all of this for, for Krishna's satisfaction fully. 
you have to be willing to, to yeah to suffer to, to to experience pain in this body rather than enjoying for the sake of Krishna that's the ultimate test so uh, but in the beginning of course we were doing a, a, you know propagation to the innocent muscles that yeah you come and enjoy you enjoy your tongue and you enjoy your ear and hearing and watch the beautiful you know details and all this that's there but in the very end we have to be ready to give up also that to enjoy even seeing the beauty of the deities you know. if it's for Krishna service you may have to be in a place where you cannot see the deities you know. it's only about Krishna service because otherwise why should Prabhupada come here I mean, he, he saw the beauty of the deities in Brindavan. There are so many beautiful deities. He's coming to America. There is no deities. It's only ugly, uh, ugly materialists. They're stinking. So no enjoyment for the the, the, the nose. No enjoyment for the touch. It, it was uh, colder. It used to better temperature in India. And, and tasting. Well, uh, he he was he was uh, he was afraid that he wouldn't have anything to eat, or he just brought with him some. Uh, some cereal and some potatoes because he told maybe they did just have meat there but he was ready to go even even though there wouldn't be so much nice things for him to taste probably was ready to go so he went so he was also his taste and he was he was accepting the cooking of his his early disciples and many times they were not able to cook very nicely probably was accepting you know so he renounced the the, the happiness of, of the Eyes, the happiness of the ears, all this noise was there in America, and then the smell, there's pollution there, and the stinking people. He had to associate with people who used drugs and so on. They, they were stinking of the alcohol. And he had to tolerate seeing so many bad things and not seeing the ditties. He had to tolerate the, many times, maybe not so very nice taste also. What more? What the senses? And the mind, of course, is the chief of the senses. He had to undergo so much trouble for the mind, trying to train up his disciples who were totally in ignorance and, and they did offenses to him and so on. He had to tolerate that. So that means no enjoyment for, for the gross body, and also even not the subtle body, because the subtle body is enjoying actually everything that's experienced through, through the gross senses. But it can also enjoy, in another way, you can enjoy by, by higher learning, by, by knowledge, in, in the intelligence. The Gyan is on that platform, he has actually uh, withdrawn from the gross sense enjoyment. So as a minimum should we should aim for, for being seated in our subtle body. At least the gross stuff we, we should uh, at least aim for getting out of. And from there, then, then actually uh, the real person in knowledge, Gyanam Mam Prapadyate, Krishna says, Vasudeva Saram Iti. Uh, a real person in knowledge, he, he will, he will, uh, he will even give up his, his uh, enjoyment in, in having a lot of knowledge and speculating. He, he will get his, his enjoyment, his, his subtle uh, body enjoyment in the mind. He will get that from hearing about Krishna, ultimately. And then we get to the point. So, so Prabhupada has given us all these books to enjoy in the mind and not to enjoy in the gross senses. We, we cannot eat these books. They don't taste very good for the tongue. Also, the eyes is not really something to, to relish with eyes. It's not the form of a woman or anything like this. It's just text. And, and what more to hear? Well, the Sanskrit, we don't, we don't maybe really enjoy that. In, in the beginning, at least, we can't really understand what it is. And, and also the translation, we, we can't understand anything. So it's tapasya. It, it tasted like poison in the beginning. Yatat <clears throat> agre. Vishamiva uh, Parinama Amrita Upamam That which tastes like uh, poison in the beginning, but the end result of, of that kind of, of endeavor is that it tastes like Amrita in the end. Parinama, that's the end result of it. Tatsukam Satvikam Proktam That is actually the real happiness in, in Sattva Guru. Uh, uh, and that is born out of, uh, of actually uh, a, a good sense of intelligence. One has to have good intelligence to enjoy in, in subtle, to do an endeavor in subtle, and to enjoy in subtle. It, it's born out of uh, a nice, intelligent uh, endeavor. 
But it is, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, austerity in the beginning. Tapo divyam putraga sattva ye nam shudyat tapo yeka tapo divyam putraka ye na sattvam shudyat. We have to do transcendental austerities. Yasmat Brahma Sokyam Tuanantam because then in the end we can actually enjoy Brahman. That's actually what we want to do. We want to enjoy the Brahman. And the Brahman is per definition beyond the the sense perception. We cannot feel Brahman, we cannot see Brahman, we cannot hear Brahman, we cannot touch Brahman. Even the mind can really understand Brahman. But we can sense Brahman how? Sukham Atiyanti Kamyatat Buddhigraim Atindriam. We can understand this, this Brahma Suk, this happiness in Brahma by, by transcendental intelligence, Buddhi Grayam. It's only by the intelligence we can understand Brahma and, and sense the Brahman, grasp it. Atindriam, it is beyond the senses. But when we have gotten to that place where we are actually enjoying in Brahman, then we, we can actually uh, start for the spiritual life. It begins there. That's just the beginning. Uh, and, and then, then, then when it's situated in the qualities that Krishna is mentioning all over Bhagavad Gita, starting with tolerance. And tolerance is that we tolerate the dualities, which is coming from sense perception. Tams titiksha svabharata. Matra sparsha stukantya. Sita Ushna, it's uh, uh, it's hot and cold, and and that's like uh, uh, just uh, just a reference to all the dualities in the material world: good and bad, hot and cold, happiness and distress, honor and dishonor. All these things. Agama Neo Anityas, these are all temporary things. Tamsti Tikshvas Abharata, we have to tolerate this to be a situation in Brahman. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. We have to tolerate, we have to tolerate, we have to tolerate. Otherwise, we are nothing in spiritual life. We are still on the gross platform or on the subtle platform. Maybe we don't get to a spiritual platform without full tolerance. It has to be full. And then from the Brahman platform, then actually we can start doing devotional service to Krishna. Again, Vita Bhaya Raga Krodam Manmaya Ma Uparshita Puta Matbhavam Agata. Krishna says, in order to, to get my nature, to enter my nature, Krishna says, then, then actually we can serve Krishna. Prabhupada says, we cannot serve Krishna unless we, we like you cannot serve a king unless you, you're, you're in, the, you're in the, the king's house and, and you know, having the same nature as the king in that way, one is behaving nicely and so on. In the same way, we cannot serve Krishna. Unless we have the same nature, attain the same nature as Krishna, the spiritual nature. So Krishna says, Puta, when one is fully purified of the material impurities, which are Baya, fear, Raga, attachment, and Kroda, anger. They are, they are, they are, um, they are uh, um, symbolizing also or, or referring to the, the three modes of nature. Baya is, is ignorance. Uh, uh, Raga is attachment, so that's the mode of goodness, and, and Krola can also be uh, referring to the mode of passion because when he is, is, is becoming angry by, by passionate endeavor. Uh, one has to be purified of all of this, Vita, one has to be freed from this. And then Putan being, being purified, thus, then Matbhava Agata, then we can attain Krishna's nature. And that is actually what is understood by this Svarupam achievement. Hitva Anyattaha Rupam. To give up all other forms and Svarupena Vyavasati and to attain one's own form. Because from Bra Brahman platform you have to take up the devotional service of the Lord. And that's actually uh, one is starting to serve the Lord with spiritual senses. When one is starting serving Krishna, one is serving Krishna with spiritual senses. It is a fact. And then one is, uh, Prabhupada says, one is experiencing sp enjoyment, spiritual sense enjoyment. So we have sense enjoyment in the, in the spiritual world, but it will be the spiritual sense enjoyment. So we will enjoy seeing Krishna. We will not enjoy the gross organ 
this, this eyes here will not enjoy with this. We will enjoy hearing about it. We will not enjoy hearing with this. We will enjoy touching Krishna, but not with this gross sense of touch. We will enjoy tasting Krishna, but not with this tongue here. And um, that is that is uh, that is uh, the way here. We, we see Arjuna. He was very stern, strict. He took up the full austerities. He just sat on hardware, the bank of the Ganges, and he just practiced spiritual life, just chanting the holy name of the Lord like this. Now there is also some information here. Uh, there is a proverb says some devotees go to Vaikuntha Lok and others go to Golok Vrindavan to become associates of Krishna. Now there is some uh, some information. Uh, this is referring to that we, we have different uh, spiritual abodes. Then we have a nice reference in the Brahma Samhita, where there is a verse saying, "Goloka namni nijadamni thale chatasya." Devi Mahesha Haridame Shute Shute Shu Te Te Prabhava Nichaya Vihitas Chayena Govinda Madi Purusham Tamham Vajami. So it's explained there. It's Lord Brahma, he's, he's speaking out from his viewpoint. He's on Brahma Lok, the highest plant in, in the material world. Now, this, this is also called uh, uh, the Devi uh, Dharma. The, the abode of Devi, where Devi is, is uh, um, referring to uh, Durga. And then Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur explains in his commentary to, to this verse in the Brahma Samhita, he explains that Durga refers to, um, to uh, Lord Shiva's wife. She is, uh, she is the one who is uh, uh, keeping the living entities in the prison house of material world. He, he is coming with this. This explanation that uh, uh, Devi Dhamma, the, this whole material world, which is uh, is uh, ruled, also it's created by Brahma, but it's actually ruled by by Durga Devi. So this this world can also be called the, the abode of Devi, and uh, and that is because she she is uh, she is controlling all the material energies. It's under her control. Krishna is not directly involved. How is Krishna involved with his creation? Well, that's the explanation given also that uh, Krishna is he's having expansions. <clears throat> First, he is, is expanding himself as Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha. First, first is, is expansion is Vasudev for the material creation. That is actually uh, the same person as uh, Baladev or, or Balaram, and he expands again into Sankarshan and Pradyumna and then Aniruddha. So. Um, from Sankarshan comes the, uh, another uh, quadruple expansion again with Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, and Anuruddha. And, and there from the, the next Sankarshan comes uh, the three Purusha avatars Kshiruda Kshay Vishnu, Garbhuda Kshay Vishnu, and uh, uh, Karana Dokshay Vishnu. Uh, so so uh, the first uh, Vishnu is also called Mahavishnu. He's lying on the there is a, the explanation that outside the, the, the outside the spiritual realm, actually there is explained this verse from Brahma Samhita. There is the Devi Dham, and then there is Mahesh Dham. That, that's uh, that's Lord Shiva's abode. That's above this this material world. But it's still in the material world. This is very special uh, tattva. That is, it's like in between the, the spiritual and material world, but it's it's not considered to be totally in the spiritual world, and also not totally in the material world like in between state. <clears throat> and then you have uh, uh, Haridama. Haridama is uh, referring to the Vaikuntha Lokas. But then it said that uh, Goloka Namni Nidya Damni, that is above. The Goloka Vrindavan is above even the Vaikuntha planets. So we have four levels of, of planetary uh, systems then according to this uh, enumeration. The first one is Devi, Devi Dham, which is the, the gross material world where we are living. And then there is Mahesh Dham, where she was about, and then there is Haridam, the Vaikuntha planets, and then there is Kolokrindam, the highest abode. So it's explained that uh, outside, uh, you can say that there is Kolokrindam, is, is like, there is like a lotus flower. It is actually explained, it is like in the shape of a lotus flower. In the world of the lotus, in the middle, there 
is a globe and down. And like in the, in the, in the petals, one can say outside there is, is Vaikunta. And then you have the, the Foldens, is also the globe, is also referring to the Brahma Jyoti, the Foldens coming from the Vaikunta planets. And then the outside, there is, there is actually a, a lot of water. And that is, is, uh, is, is actually uh, demarcating the, the, the difference between the spiritual and material world. The water is, is like the ocean between the material and the spiritual world. It's also called the Virat uh, River. So, so uh, that's also why we, we are talking about crossing, crossing the ocean. Of the material world to get back to the spiritual world, there is actually uh, water there. And it's said that the person who is actually getting back to the spiritual world, he, he is he's purifying himself in that water. These are, of course, of course all, all highly esoterical and cannot be understood in, in three dimensional, in a three dimensional sense. This is all going in a high dimensional sense. The descriptions are there for our meditation. Um, so, um, uh, where was Anna? I was going to explain something. Um, you were talking about uh, Mahavishnu. Yeah, Mahavishnu, yes, thank you. So, Mahavishnu, he's, uh, uh, he's sleeping in, in that ocean. He's actually having his, his, um, his yoga nidra sleep. Uh, Ya karana arnava jale bhajati sma yoga nidram anantam jagananda saroma kupa and out of each of his pores of his his hairs where, where, where there, there is there is like the uh, the pores in the skin of the body where there is also growing here there there is coming out one universe of each pore as is uh, uh, exhaling all the universes are coming out and when it's inhaling they are coming in again Nishvas Sita, it, it said with one exhalation. And actually that's that's the uh, that's also in, in the Vedas is giving us the, the shortest time measure actually. It's, it's an incredibly very very minute time measure. If you take uh, something like like only splitting one second into uh, maybe uh, maybe something like uh, hundred parts or something, split of a second, it's a very very small that's that's just one one uh, nimesha, one uh, exhalation or inhalation of of, of, uh, of the Lord. So when he's exhaling, then the each all the universes come, are coming out, and then he's inhaling, all the universes are drawn in again. So in in the exhalation period of, of Mahavishnu, yes, ekanishvashita kala atavalamba jivanti loma vilaja jagadanna nata Vishnu mahasaya yasya kala vishesha govinda madhi purushantam <coughs> so uh, this Vishnu is also explained as is an expansion of Krishna. So so when he is he is uh, exhaling out, then, then the whole whole lifetime of Brahma is there in the, this very short time. And then the whole lifetime of Brahma, you know, is uh, over three hundred and eleven uh, trillion years. is a long time. Uh, yeah. So the point is 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 is. Um, the hierarchy of the planter uh, situation from the spiritual world to the material world. So, so now we're getting into the material world when, when Lord Vishnu is breathing out, then you have the material universe in there. So they, then you have the manifestation of the material world. He's entering into each of these material universes as uh, Garbhodakashaya Vishnu. So uh, he's coming into the universe and it, it's uh, described as being an an anda, like an anda, it's, it's like an egg and it's totally dark inside. On the Tama, it's, it's totally dark. So Vishnu is entering into this universe. He, he, he doesn't know. Uh, he, it's explained in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that uh, he doesn't know. Uh, he, in the beginning, he's wondering, uh, how should I be seated here? So, so what?